Happy New Year! Today I'm going to show you how to create this fun look whether you're spending it with that special someone or just your girlfriends. I revolve the whole look around some glitter from Motives Cosmetics, so I decided to make the whole look using their products since you guys always ask me to show you them, so let's begin. First I'm going to prep my lids with an eye primer. This is just going to even everything out and make your shadows last all night long. Then taking this light brown called cappuccino, I'm going to dust this in the crease back and forth with a blending brush and this will be our transition color. Now I'm taking this matte brown shade called Choco Light and I'm using a denser crease brush just to apply this in the crease back and forth side to side and then use tiny circular motions to start blending it up. You want to do this in stages because you don't want to add too much product so I dip my brush a little bit at a time and start building up the intensity of the color. To add a little twist to the crease, I'm adding this plum color right below Choco Light and this is going to add a little bit of a burgundy purple hue. It looks so gorgeous with the glitter we're going to use and really pulls out the pink in it. As always, make sure to blend out any harsh lines with your crease brush. Now I'm taking a matte black just to add a little bit more definition to the crease. Now I'm taking a copper shadow all over the lid to add some extra dimension of shine since we're going to add glitter on top. For the glitter I mixed a silver, pink, and copper for a rose gold shade and using glitter glue to place it on the lid. Make sure to pat and not rub so you don't get glitter everywhere. Then I lined my eyes with a black gel liner. Then I applied black liner to the waterline, false lashes, lip balm, and now I'm taking the liquid powder mineral foundation as my base. I've been loving this recently as my everyday foundation because the formula is similar to Laura Mercier's silk cream foundation, except this one is a little bit more mattifying, which I love. Next, I'm applying a light concealer under the eyes to highlight and setting it with a darker powder so it isn't too light. To contour, I'm first taking a dark cream concealer to sculpt out the face. This will make my contour last all night long and it looks more skin-like since it's a cream. To set the cream, I'm using a dark powder foundation with a light hand right over the contour. I'm setting it so it stays put and doesn't move. For a blush, I'm using this bronzer called Miami Glow, and it literally makes you look like you just got back from vacation. I want the focus to be on the eyes and lips, so that's why I'm leaving the cheeks very neutral. To finish the eyes, I'm smudging Sweet Plum on the lower lash line with a shader brush first, then blending it out with a pencil brush. For the inner corners, I'm taking my favorite Motives eyeshadow called Whipped Cream. It's very similar to Nylon by MAC. I'm also taking a little bit on my fingers as my cheekbone highlight. I was too lazy to go get a brush and it gives a more natural appearance when we use your fingers because it warms up the product. Don't forget mascara on the lower lashes! For lips, I'm using a pink toned brown to line them, and this will make your lipstick last so much longer. Then I'm applying this light pink lipstick all over my lips, which is another favorite of mine from Motives. And make sure to set everything with a setting spray to lock in your work. Now you're ready to be that sparkle in your loved one's eyes as they admire how you shine on New Year's. As we say goodbye to 2013, I just want to take a second and thank you all so much for your love and support. I couldn't have done this without you and I can't wait to see what 2014 has in store for us. I hope you all have a fun night and I'll see you next year. Love you!